Hey, Hello, everybody. Have a fantastic um, video. Yeah. Have a fantastic video. Fantastic and let's, video. let's change the world. Let's change the mindset of at least one person. <laughs> Even if it's each Woo. other's. <laughs> Lots of love. Boo! Right, we'll have to put that in the video. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. My name, you know me, Owen Fox here. And I want to introduce you to my friends, Delicious Lynn and oh, beautiful Lynn. Like Sean. That. How are you doing? Hi, guys. Not delicious. <laughs> delicious Sean, beautiful Lynn. Oh. So I'm really happy to bring you these two today because they touch my heart and inspire me and they're amazing friends of mine, such incredibly positive people embodying positive energy and helping to change the world for the better. And that's what I live for, uh, personal growth and world expansion as well. So in this video, I want to ask them about their experiences with the be like how veganism has changed their life or impacted them. So. Brilliant. Because I really think this is an important video to make and I encourage you to share um, Because it really does make a big difference. So I'm gonna ask why so Sean, I'll go with you first. Okay, okay. tall men first for this for this time <laughs> um, Instead of ladies first tall men first <laughs> right so um, Vegan hard change my life. Like. Yeah, like how before you before you discovered veganism How would you describe yourself really really quickly and then how did veganism like make you feel any different? Well first thing I would have been the clearly angry an angrier person <laughs> uh, when I was I went I'm 48 years of age now, but for the first 40 years of my life, I was actually a uh, meat eater, strong, very angry, very aggressive, very, yeah. you know, distracted. I hadn't, you know, I like to think I was still a good person, but the fact of the matter was, was actually, I was uh, an angrier person. I became vegetarian for four years, and then for the past three years, uh, vegan, and I noticed an a ah. unbelievable shift in energy Whoa. when I became vegan, but the, the clarity of mind, the peace, the connection to the insects, animals, people, humans, myself, those around me, yeah. was more uh, with purpose and a kind of more of a deep understanding. So it, that was the biggest shift that I realised. How, how much it just turned my health so it was brilliant. Emotionally, you felt less anger, more peace. What about happiness? Level? Definitely, definitely, hundred percent. It makes a difference because see, when you shift that energy, you shift that negativity. Mm. Um, takes a weight off your shoulders. Takes everything like that. So, hundred percent. And. Energy. Yeah. Go ahead. Did you were you vegetarian first for a while? Well, first forty years, uh, meat eater. Four years, and I became vegetarian, and yeah. then uh, the only thing I was eating then was uh, eggs and things like that. And then I gave up dairy, and yeah. put eggs, and then four years, and then I became vegan. So you were four years vegetarian before you became vegan. That's right. Yeah. And you've been vegan there for three years. Yeah. So seven years total where you're not eating meat and stuff. So when you when you just Became, when you became vegetarian before you became vegan did you notice the same similar or same differences or was there a bigger shift emotionally and in your your attitude to life when the, you became vegan the paradigm shift going from the condition of meat eating i thought that i, I, I looked on the camera basically i thought when i was, sure. was eating meat that was the, the only way i thought it was uh, because that's what i'd done all my life that's what my family did that's what my friends did that's what the, the media portrayed it to be I, so i looked on vegetarians as crackpots <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now people look at me as a crackpot <laughs> <you know? laughs> hippie long-haired guy yeah and basically it, it's just the first thing i noticed a big change was is that um I didn't need the meat and I felt much better. I lost some weight and I, I yeah. became certainly more energetic. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, quits, quits in right and away. And asthma as well. As well. Yeah, asthma. Yeah, yeah, asthma. Tell us about the asthma. You had asthma and then. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't have walked um, couldn't have walked any real distance as such, maybe a mile, two mile maximum, uh, without having to get a puffer, uh, the asthma puffer. As That's soon as crazy. I, I went vegetarian yeah. and I, I still was on the, the, the puffer, the inhaler, uh, but as soon as I became vegan, Within two weeks, um, that was over three years ago, my asthma has went and I haven't used that puffer. Since. That's ridiculous, that's crazy. Can you see how important it is to share like this information and why one of the reasons, one of the reasons why I'm inspired to make this video and bring in these beautiful friends as well for, for their own sake, you know? <laughs> uh, like, who, who has asthma out there? Who do you know has asthma and you'd like to get rid of it? And all you might need to do, or at least gain benefit, or get rid of it completely. Simply stop eating dairy, meat, e eggs, yogurts, cheese, like milk in the morning, and ice cream. And the, there's the, there's vegetarian and vegan alternatives. Like, isn't there? Like a wee, a wee wasp <laughs> walking. Whoa! Guys, wasp. there's a wasp on my face. <laughs> I open my eyes. I'm You're not scared of wasps. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a, this is a vegan video, man. There would have been a time that it's I would have. It's actually tickling me. Yeah. I'm not scared of wasps, by the way, guys. So yeah. I don't mind the walking over me. I'm not one of these people that scream. But and the thing is, is that crazy? Yeah. 
think of like a real Asian. <laughs> That's a you, lovely side, isn't it? It's lovely. <laughs> Peace between humans and animals. It would have been the time that, um, as, as I, when I never was a vegan and Lim wasn't a vegan, that we would have possibly, you know, swatted it and just yeah. dismissed it like it was nothing. But as a vegan now, I see the wasp there. It's like it's just yeah. walking it's about there. It's a living there. being. Yeah, it's yeah. a living being. Yeah. It's, it's got as much right to be here as us. It's just we're scared off it because of what we're taught. Conditioning, scare, like fear tactics. Like no. I used to be afraid of wasps too, but now I view it as like a mum or a dad or a son or a daughter. <laughs> Curious. <laughs> so like, guys, I'm laughing because it's tickling across my face. It's yeah. <laughs> I'm not afraid oh, either, you know. That's a really tame little wasp, isn't it? It's a little cute little wasp trying to experience And the thing is, is that I'm saying to myself that if it stings me, then it stings oh, me. And wow. It's almost like a spider, a spider wasp. <laughs> Look, it's rubbing its nose. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So you go, so I interview you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and if you happen to do like a wasp thing, you're... Yeah. To blow up. It's, not, it's not going to um, harm a wasp on my hair now. Absolutely. <laughs> go ahead, brother. Sorry, guys. Go ahead, Mum. Yeah, so... Um, we can be so much happier in life um, in so many ways. Um, so um, the vegeta being vegetarian didn't shift your asthma, but veganism did. Veganism, 100%. All right, cool. So there we go. We've clarified that and we've clarified the time zones. <laughs> it's going to turn into a bindu, in, in a bindi, isn't it? An Indian thing. <laughs> so uh, that's mad. I'm going to give an eye, should I? <laughs> yeah, it's on her nose. It's on your nose? You, you can always tap it away if you want. Then you can swap it away. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it likes them a lot. That is unbelievable. I've never, guys, I've never had a wasp actually. I've had one land on my hand and things, but I've never that. had one walk right across my face. It's Are we really sitting a, a wasp nest or something? <laughs> <laughs> he really must like there our energy there, yeah. anyway. I think yeah, it's yeah. Uh, that's amazing. No. Oh, well, anyway, well. sorry. Right. <laughs> so thank you, Sean, for sharing that. My pleasure. Um, <laughs> You're just happier. You'd recommend veganism. The shift. You don't have to do it all or nothing. It can be just increasing a little percentage it, every it, week or do whatever. Do just can do. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Do, 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 so that's yeah, it. That's, uh, all right. So now I move on to lovely Lynn. Yeah. Lynn, so, what what was your life before vegetarianism, yeah. and veganism? And tell tell the lovely people here were you vegetarian long before veganism? I was. And yeah. what did you feel during the change? And how do you feel now compared to your life before? Yeah. Well, I've been vegetarian before I went vegan pretty much all of my life. My dad actually worked in a butcher years. shop, um, yep, 40 years. My dad actually worked in a butcher shop when I was tiny. And I remember the one day, I was only about four years old, going to meet my dad at his butcher shop with my mother. And he opened the refrigerators and I saw these dead animals hanging up, all the corpses. And I was like, oh God. And even at that age, I realized that, it, that meat, it's wrong to eat animals. Um, they have a right to live. And I just, I went vegetarian. now. My mum and dad are pretty freaked out because they, they were worried about my health or oh, you need your protein and everything like that. But luckily I had a, a wonderful friend called Sheila who's also um, vegetarian. And um, <laughs> she actually, sorry I'm getting a bit upset because she actually passed over um, the other day. She was a wonderful, wonderful friend. So anyway, she encouraged me on my path to veg <laughs> vegetarianism. Yeah. And that was a really special, magical journey for me because yeah. um, with my mum and dad's support, they supported my decision and she, being vegetarian, also said, look, you know, Lynn's not going to die being vegetarian, she's going to actually be fine. And that was it. And I was totally unaware about um, the dairy industry. So being vegetarian all my life. And anyway, four years ago, we got into, um, really into health in a big way. Mm. And we found out about the raw food movement. And yeah. we sort of went mm. vegan because not the ethical side, so I was already a vegetarian and the, the vegan side was more to do with the health issue. We got the raw foods and everything like that. And then of course we did a bit more investigating online, you searching raw food and we found out about what really goes on in the dairy industry and the egg industry. Not nice and, stuff. <laughs> and we were really, really shocked. So that just, not only the health reasons, the decision to go vegan overnight and we did it. And all I can say, guys, it's the best thing Definitely. that I have ever done, that we've ever done. First of all, like before yeah. I went vegan. Tell us why, yeah. yeah. Why is it the best well, thing? The, from the mental side, um, I used to suffer from really bad depression and mood swings. That just, within two weeks of going vegan, I felt my moods completely balance out, my depression lift. I That's just felt crazy. Yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Um, absolutely unbelievable. And this and is why the meat industry and all the dairy industries, they always try and tell you what's really good for you isn't good for you and you need things that you don't need 
So we'll remain we'll like dull. So they, they want to heavy. keep us all numb, don't yeah. they? And depressed. <laughs> But these unbelievable, it's just like lifting the lid off. I cannot tell you the difference I felt in such a little time. That's amazing. And um, so the depression went, so my happier. moods, I was happier. You, you felt freer. I felt freer. Un <laughs> absolutely, really, really. So that's been the massive thing. And also another thing, like all through my life, I've all, always suffered from very bad low self-esteem and social phobia. I mm. hated going out and socializing. Um, very, very chronically shy. Mm. And that also went. Um, it actually, I've been vegan now four years and I felt it lift and lift and lift. this is the best I've ever, ever felt. So it's like yeah. a huge cleansing. It is absolutely so did, incredible. How quickly did you notice a shift for, for your social phobia yeah. after becoming vegan? I would say probably after about... Was it a gradual It was up? a gradual thing. Like yeah. whereas the, the mood and the, the depression was pretty quick. Yeah. Um, with the social phobia, it sort of was over a period of time within a few months. But within about six months, it started to lift. And I never put it to the veganism. I thought, gosh, can it be? But of course, everything started to lift, including like my moods, depression, yeah. and everything else balanced out. So no, I, I cannot tell you. <laughs> From a health point of view, um, mental is the biggest thing I've had. And also, I've lost weight, Brilliant. which is great, which is, which awesome. is another added bonus, you know? <laughs> awesome. So, one of the things with the social phobia, would you owe it 100% to diet, or was there also other things? There were other things doing? as well, yeah. Holistic. Well, Holistically, um, obviously really into crystals and the crystals have always helped, meditation as well. Um, but the other thing that really, really helped me is getting my YouTube channel. We do a YouTube channel together, um, yeah, Dreaming yeah, yeah. of Avalon. You gotta also, check them out guys, I'll put the link. <laughs> also our own channels and that gave me so much confidence. Getting up in front of the camera, which was something I would never have done before, yeah. um, gave me so much confidence. And now like, you can't Fantastic. keep me away from it, I love it. <laughs> hey. so, I, know, I know, I keep going on, but guys, going vegan is the best thing that ever happened Definitely. to me. Yeah, you can um, feel the inspiration, the passion, like just flowing here. Oh. And like, none of us are like, silly thinking it's all about diet like that's why I asked that last question but you can't be also um, uninformed to just how important the diet can be it's like the energy you're putting into your being and there's also Absolutely. everything else too you know body mind spirit like following your passion uh -huh. healing all every, we all we know all that too you know yeah well like we encourage everything like body mind spirit but we just this video we just want to put an emphasis on more like how impactful like veganism Oh, like my, like me totally it? changed too but this is, video isn't really too much about me necessarily but yeah I had the same things like my life totally shifted completely when I went vegan and into raw foods like very quickly mm -hmm. massive total shift yeah total like I left my old like heavy Huge. heavy heavy <laughs> heavy suffering sad self I improved dramatically <laughs> and the spiritual point of view I mean also, that was also pretty quick when I removed the milk out and the eggs. I noticed that um, I was more aware of what was actually going on in the world. I never really knew much about the Illuminati. I'd heard about it, didn't know much. But, but that really, I got awakened to so many things that I believed that the, the dairy was suppressing me. Cool. You know? So, all right, well, so, I think that's... So there you is, go, guys. Is, is there anything else either of you, Sean or Lynn, would like to add in? Well, there's only one. Th there's one thing I want to, to, to stress to you is that it's difficult as being vegans. We hate the labels, and the only reason why we're using it is because we, we can be identified with a particular thing. But the last thing we want you or anybody viewing this here to, yeah. to think of, we're actually saying that you must do this. You must do. That. I was forty you years eating meat, so <laughs> um, any time anybody tried to told me told me to do something, most times I didn't do it. So that's the last thing we want you to do. Yeah, you'll get there when you get there. But what we're saying is there's information out there. We love you all, you know. Uh -huh. Bloody hell, it's not a, we're all on different journeys. I think it's a journey. responsibility for us all to. Yeah. And um, we can't keep pointing the fingers to the society, or our parents, or our past, or our children, childhood, or the Illuminati, or the New World Order, or the yeah. governments, or everybody <laughs> else's fault. <laughs> yeah. It's our responsibility for ourselves, and the information's there. And if you look at it, you know we're all intelligent enough to maybe join a few dads that weren't there before, and don't beat yourself up for not being a vegan. Totally. Um, or if you're a meat eater, vegetarian, or whatever, nobody's better than anybody else. fruitarian, liquidarian, yeah. breatharian, <laughs> solar <Vegan>. gazearian, <laughs> uh, waterarian, <laughs> Was waspararian. <laughs> so we're chill. It's good uh, to yeah. integrate peace and harmony into your life with this. Are you cool? <laughs> Happy days, brother. Yay! Woo! <laughs> so love you guys, and please do recognize our intention. Just from the heart. Happiness, peace, and no pressure or judgment on anybody. Uh -huh. Family.
Absolutely. All we're, we're all connected. <laughs> we're all related in the spiritual dimension. Absolutely. That's so definitely. true. That's definitely true. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And physically. <laughs> related. We're hunter stuck so together. True. Super right. glue. Super glue. <laughs> yeah. Physically related, you guys yeah. do actually look alike. <laughs> the two <Brother> different guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right brother and brother and sister okay. oh. all right guys so well um i hope you enjoyed this video and if you've liked it do please uh, check out their channel and share for other people if you've enjoyed it to consider mm -hmm. sharing the information and just the energy actually of the non-judgment love and acceptance while trying to help empower us to grow on our journey to our personal upgrade um anything personal upgrading body mind spirit so share the message and join these guys channel if you feel like mm -hmm. it check them out and um feel welcome to leave any positive comments or testimonials especially actually be fantastic too and um, of your experiences with any positive diet change or lifestyle change you've done in your life <laughs> wonderful All right. absolutely guys guys send your love from Ireland you yeah. lives to love and happiness love. from Ireland yay Bye. and thank you guys thank you <laughs> alright thank you brother <laughs> that's like probably the most positive yeah. video I've ever you know, heard of health what, he's so strange, <laughs> along with right? Dan McDonald and Lou Corona um, they embody a lot of love and positive energy I wasn't recording you serious? No, I'm joking, no, I'm joking. <laughs> don't do that <laughs>